There's two types of findings. There's auxiliary findings and there are isinglass findings. Isinglass findings are basically, they're the main finding that will clear the beer. The auxiliary findings are something we add to the tank and they will help the clarifying process. They won't clarify the beer on their own, but they will just help to make it that more clear when we do add the isinglass. Yeah. The isinglass are essentially swim bladders from sturgeon. So it's, it's a fish product, fish if you like. Yeah. yeah. We usually don't like to advertise that fact. No. <laughs> um, and basically... Presumably that's not left in the beer when you're drinking it. No, because so. what it does is that it drops the yeast out. So at the moment, so when we add the um, finings to the cask, the findings will cause the particles of yeast to come together and form larger flocculations, if you like. So that's to do with charges? That's, that's to do with charges, charges yeah. The auxiliary is negatively charged, and I think the isinglass are positively charged, Either or the other way around. They're oppositely charged. They're oppositely charged. They stick together. Yep. And that then pulls down the sediment. That's that will pull down out. the yeast, yeah. So it will cause the yeast to come together. So yeah. the yeast will clump together, and it will form larger flocks. And in doing so, it will then be able to uh, drop out. Thing. Exactly. So if I give this, this a shake, you'll see the yeast coming from the bottom and going back into, into suspension. So you can see there's kind of some reasonably large flocks there. Now they're only there because this has already been, been fined and been settled for a little while. If we take this one for example, you can see this hasn't cleared yet. It'll probably take another three hours for this one to clear. So the yeast is still kind of forming larger flocculations and then dropping down. So really it's a process of um, of the yeast coming together and getting larger, and you can see the larger bits are already starting to to fall down towards, uh, you know, the, by process of gravity to the the bottom of the uh, of the findings bottle. And this is done partly because people want a clear beer. Exactly. But also yeah. The yeast does affect the taste, I imagine. The yeast does affect the taste, but largely this is because people want beer that's clear. Um, they drink with their eyes as well. Yeah. Um,